Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to micro teaching and experiencing firsthand pair work. So let me ask you a few questions as we get started. First of all, you can't hear me, can you? No, hear me. Right? Right. So wait. Okay, there it is. Wait. Okay, can you see that? Good. Now, let's see what happens. Okay, because the class was open for a while, talking behind the scene right now, the audio did not work. Now, this happens every once in a while. So, let's get back. And... Now you can hear me, right? So wasn't it worthwhile waiting? All right, so today we're going to experience. Not, not only you are going to experience, but I am also you. In other words, I'm also going to experience some pretty amazing things, okay? So just let me know in the chat box where you're from. And as you're introducing yourself, if you could just add something about yourself that you really, really like. Yes, what do you like about yourself? All right, my name is Nellie. I've been teaching with technology for, I think it's over 20 years already because time flies. I started teaching English as a foreign language using the computers, and then I started getting more involved in computers. But basically, I'm an English language teacher. And what I love to do most is learn. And that's one of the reasons why I teach. I teach because I enjoy learning. This is Moodle MOOC 5. It's the fifth one. The first Moodle MOOC in the world started in June 2013 with the developer of Moodle, Martin Dogiamis. It was really, really exciting. Plus, we had three of the original MOOC people, David, Stephen Downs, David Gormier, and Brian Alexander. So it was really, really exciting. And I decided to have three a year for your information. So we have them in June, October, and the next one is going to be in February. So three MOOCs a year. Each one has two venues. One is presentations by presenters, and the other one is about learning online, of course, and improving instruction and learning. And the other one is Moodle training. So that's how we got here. A little bit of uh, history about me and Moodle MOOC. Now, are you ready for pair teaching? Now, I don't know if you've seen the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you have. Not that it matters, but have you seen the PowerPoint presentation for this session? Oh, you have. That's good. That means that you're very curious. All right, so uh, you're going to do a little bit of pair work to get the feel of what it's like to work in pairs, first of all, and then, of course, pair teaching as part of the micro teaching initiative that uh, is the first of its kind, by the way, online. Uh, generally, um, micro teaching is done face to face with a video camera. So here we're doing it the other way around. We're using video to create a face-to-face -face sense of uh, teaching. All right, yes, I know, Waji, you're looking for a partner, but you're gonna have one today. Uh, so the agenda is we'll be discussing definitions and the purpose of pair teaching. And then we're going to do a pairing up exercise that is going to continue afterwards. So. Um, I see some people didn't join, maybe because they saw the PowerPoint beforehand. It's uh, pretty tricky uh, to uh, work and not just to listen. It takes um, a lot of uh, guts 
to be able to do things and not worry about how they turn out. So first of all, let's start with a few definitions. What is micro teaching? And I've gone over this before. For those who uh, have seen this, it's a little bit of uh, repetition here. So micro teaching is actually teacher training. It's a technique that's been around for uh, many years, since the 60s. And it's for both inexperienced and experienced teachers. It's a way to practice teaching in small groups. You see people are dropping off because they know they're going to be doing something. And that's scary uh, for many. But it's really rewarding for those who stick around. And the idea is to learn from one another, from the experience of teaching, working together as a pair, and actually producing something, and then finally teaching. It's very rewarding, but it could be very stressful too. But stress is nice in small amounts. It allows teachers to focus on teaching skills, and you practice them as you go. And it develops confidence because it's generally done beforehand. In other words, teacher practice in a non-threatening environment, just the two, and that feels wonderful. And then they get to the actual public teaching arena. The idea is to get feedback, not only from your pair, but also, and from the teacher, of course. The teacher doesn't really count. It's not the instructor or the trainer that's important. What's important is everybody else that's also doing the same thing. So if everyone's doing the, the uh, pair teaching, it takes off a little bit of the stress because we're all in the same boat. So you get multiple perspectives from everyone involved. And of course, you get the support of your peers because they're also involved. Okay, so that's micro teaching. Pair teaching is a little bit different. Okay, and if you click on the slide, um, as I, I know some of you have it already, if you click on it, you'll be able to get the link to this amazing article. One of the articles that's around. Okay, yes, we, Hassan, we did do. Here we did uh, micro. We talked about micro teaching. Today we're going into pair teaching because that's part of the micro teaching program. Okay, so let me uh, get the link for you to the uh, PowerPoint presentation. So you don't have. You're going to have plenty of work to do in a minute. So this is to uh, help you out here. Okay, so here's the link. Unless Brian gets it before I do. Um, here it is. Oh, he didn't. Good. Thank you, Brian, <laughs> for not being so fast. There it is. Okay. That's the link to the PowerPoint presentation. If you go to slide seven, please do that now. Okay. That's your first activity just to warm you up on what's going to happen. Um, so click on that link that I just added, if you don't mind. Okay, and go to slide number seven. As you can see, it's slide number seven. And then click in this area. Click on the words to get the reference. Okay, the words are pair teaching of ICT in higher education, a multi perspective reflection. And it's by Pretorius, Steen, and Johnson. Hello, Helena. Good to see you. I'm so happy you're here. You just made my day. Thank you for joining us. I'm glad you're here. Okay, Helena is going to join us. All right, so this is pair work, Helena. Uh, today you're going to be getting your hands working. All right, so, so, oh. Can someone add the link? I'm still waiting. You're going to, let me add this for those who came late. There's the link. Click on that link. It's a tutorial, okay, in the chat box. And then go to slide number seven and click on the words 
Pair Teaching of ICT in Higher Education, a Multi-Perspective Reflection. There, Waji, you got it. You got it, and Susan got it, and Brian got it. And who else? Come on, everybody. I want to see at least nine of these. You got it. Yes. So where is it, Hassan? Can you add the link? You may have difficulties if you're on an iPad, unless you know how to manage an iPad and copy a link or open up the... Uh, you have to have an app to open up a PowerPoint presentation. Very good, Helena. That was quick. Okay. So that was the first, but this was a single. Okay. So um, pair teaching involves a social and collaborative support system. In other words, you work with a pair. And that's social. You collaborate because you have no choice. And you have to support one another. Okay, you need to do all of this for it to work. Otherwise, you know, why pair up? Okay, it's kind of like a marriage, right? Or a relationship. There's the social aspect of the relationship, the collaborative, and of course, the support system. And uh, yes, Nevis, that's the one. You got it. Good for you. Okay, now why in the world? And I mentioned some points there, but you might want to look at the uh, PDF at the research there. What is the purpose of pair teaching? I just mentioned here some of them, but maybe you can add some more. Purpose. If it's slow, Anivas, click on my face and get rid of my uh, image there, my uh, webcam. That'll help. Okay, it's not your system that's slow. It's all of our systems together. Hello, Mark. Good. You got it, Mark. Good for you. Excellent. All right. So, purpose. What's the purpose of pair teaching? Oh, it's green now, is it? Okay. It's green on mine too. You see, it got greener because somebody got rid of something. Helping each other. Very good, Wajdi. Educators, to improve the quality. Exactly. Purpose of pair teaching to be able to collaborate on a topic of teaching. Yes quality of teaching, right? Motivation. Ex that's a very good point. When two people work together, it's so much easier than working alone. You know, in some cultures, there's no such thing as learning by yourself. It's always collaborative. And it's not competitive. It's not about competing against one another. It's about working together. Holistic. Okay, give someone confidence. That's right, Brian. Better together than alone, that's for sure. And you can't be lazy, right? <laughs> well, procrastinating is good, right? According to this book. So you can procrastinate together and support one another. Oh, look at Hassan. It makes life easier, fosters. Wow, 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 wow. Look at all that. Very good. Excellent points there. Okay, two heads better than one. That's right. So that's what you're going to do. The question is, how? How are you going to do it? How are you going to pair and teach as a pair? Well, you're going to partner with a teacher, choose a subject, prepare a 10 to 20 minute presentation, and schedule a live class on WizIQ because you have to practice in a live class. Practice teaching for 10 to 20 minutes. <laughs> That's the recipe. Okay, no more. No more than 20 minutes. Okay, don't make it long. 20 minutes, stop. Because if you go on, you're going to go crazy. Okay, so it's good to keep it short and sweet. So you want more afterwards and you don't get tired. Decide on a day and time to teach as a pair. Upload the PowerPoint presentation on WizIQ and practice, practice, practice. 
make the presentation public, share it in the course feed. Up to here, that's it. You share it with me, you send me an email, and you're done. All right, now we're going to get to action. We've got about 40 minutes to start the ball rolling. Exactly, Hassan. Now the snowball begins. Okay, now are you ready? Okay, let me know in the chat box if you're ready, because I did this quite quickly. We had gone over micro teaching uh, two days ago, I believe, or three days ago. So um, you should have that information. So Brian is ready, English Ball India is ready. Nevis, Tom, and I have already <laughs> heard. Are you ready for the pairing up? <laughs> okay, this is the uh, pairing up for now. Okay, that's what I mean. But what you answered is correct, right? It's not what I meant, but it's still correct. All right, so we're going to start doing an exercise. Okay, this is what you will do. You will be paired in the breakout rooms. You will list two challenges do, that you foresee. Sorry about that. I have this as a question. I changed it. You will list two, three challenges that you foresee with pair teaching. Then you will list two to three benefits of pair teaching. All right, so get that information down. You may want to write it down. You may want to add it to your cell phone. I don't know if smartphone. So you might want to go into um, your notes if you have notes or write them down on a piece of paper. Okay, so get your notes ready. And, oh, I have lots of notes here. And get them a new note. Okay, we want to get a new note here. Okay, so get a new note, a new one, and write this down. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> okay, write this down. You don't know if you're going to partner with Brian. This is a new partnership now. Okay, so you're going to be paired right now. This is an exercise. Are you ready for the drill? So you'll be paired in the breakout rooms right now. You don't know who your partner is because I'm going to partner you off. You're going to list two or three challenges that you foresee in pair teaching. Two, three challenges in pair teaching. Then you're going to list two benefits. You'll see, Waji, two benefits of pair teaching. Oh, we lost someone. And then, so two benefits, two challenges, and then two tips to manage the challenges and two or three resources on the benefits and challenges involved in pair teaching. Did you get all that? Okay, I hope you got all that. If not, no. Okay, so you're going to have to think of a quick way or write it on your uh, notes somewhere. All right, so first thing, two challenges. Okay, that's number one. And then two benefits that you see in pair teaching. Okay, next, two tips. Two tips, oops, sorry, two tips on how to manage it. Two tips on how to manage this whole thing. And then two resources that you find online telling you about the benefits and the challenges. That's all. Easy enough. All right, so let's start the breakout room process. Um, okay, let's hope this works. All right, so we've got everybody here. Uh, let's see how many people. Ten. Okay, very good. All right, so I'm going to create a room for two people. And the two people are, okay, the two, so room one, I'll call room one. Okay, and then I'm going to create room two, room three, room four, and room five. Okay, now I'm going to add two people to room one. Okay, so let's get room one here. So uh, two people in room one. Okay, so let's see. Brian and English Bull. You will be thrown into room one. 
Nevis, and Susan, just by coincidence. It's just go, I'm just going through a list. You're going to move into room two. And then Waji and Mark, you're going to move into room three. Where's everybody else? Did they leave? No. Um, I just lost people. Why did I lose people? Okay, and then we're going to go on to room four. In room four, what is going on here? Room four, we have no people. So let's see, room two, uh, room four, and room five. Uh, let's see if everybody, oh, Helena, okay, great, you're back. All right, so let's uh, try this again. Um, attendees. So let's go to the main room and let's see who's left here. So Waji and Mark, you go into room, uh, did I say three? Yes, room three. And Hassan and Helena, you go to room four. And Elena and Giselle, you go to room five. Is that correct? Oh, good. We've got two more. How exciting. We're doing a breakout, and I'll tell you what to do. Maria and Tusif, you go into room five. And I think that's it. But there should be six. Uh, but that's everybody. Okay, so are you ready to start? Before we go anywhere, let's go over what you have to do. Okay, what do you have to do? You tell me. Number one. Okay, let's put this on the side here. Number one, you list two challenges, okay? Two challenges involved in pair teaching. Number two, two benefits of pair teaching. Number three, resources on pair teaching. And that's it. Isn't that easy? Okay, so let's go. Are you ready? Let's count to three. One, two, break out. Okay, now everybody's in the breakout. You can see here that no one is here. Everybody's in the breakout room. I just don't understand if we have 12 people, how come everybody got into a room, which is kind of weird. I think I have two. I think I have two room number. I think I messed up somehow here. But now I have five rooms, two people in each room. Oh, room five has, oh my gosh, room five has four people. Mm. Ah, that's why I made a mistake. All right, so let me create another room. Um, room number six, right? And then I'll have to move. Okay, I'm going to move, uh, go to the room, and I'm going to move two people. I'm going to move them to room six, because otherwise it's going to be ridiculous. There. Okay, now move two. Okay, I think I'm all right, now I'm going to go to each one of the rooms and see how they're doing. I'll start with the last one. Okay, so I'm in room six right now, I think. I'm in room six, going to room six. Hello, room six. Uh, you came in late, so um, do you have any questions of what you have to do? Uh, if not, I'll let you continue working together. Otherwise, what you need to do in the time that we have in about um, 15 minutes. Okay, what you need to do is find two or three challenges that you foresee in pair teaching, and then two to three benefits of pair teaching, benefits, and then you have to find two to three resources with information on pair teaching that gives you um, ideas on tips and tricks. Okay, so yes, two or three challenges and two or three benefits. Are you okay? You've got about 15 minutes, so 
go. This is the beginning. There's more afterwards, so I think 15 minutes is enough. But if you finish before, let me know. All right, so you're good to go. Do you want the mic or anything? Uh, do you want? Do you feel like you want a mic? I can give one of you a mic and we can alternate. So do you have a mic, Maria? I know you have, so I'll give you the mic, okay? In case you want to use it. All right, good. Okay, so let me go to the next room. Oh, I hear you. Okay, hi. All right, so now I'm in the next room. Hello, everybody, in room number five with Elena and Giselle. How are you doing, ladies? You okay? I'm going to make one of you a lead. Do you have a uh, microphone? Do you have a microphone? I'll give you one of you the right and you can give the other one. Okay, so uh, who has a microphone? Giselle or Elena? Okay, so I'll give it to Elena. And even if it doesn't work, she can give you rights. And what, do you know what you have to do? Two, three challenges. Okay, so I'll make it two challenges involved in pair teaching. Two benefits of pair teaching. And then find two resources on the internet on pair teaching uh, tips and tricks and maybe some information on the challenges and benefits involved. Okay. So good luck. You've got about 15 minutes. Okay. Hello, everyone in room number, where am I? Room number four. All right. Um, are you okay? Do you have any questions? Hassan and Helena, I'll give you, I'll make Helena lead. Helena, is that okay? Can I give you the mic? And then I can alternate afterwards. Uh, what you need to do is two challenges in case you didn't. Hi, Helena. So good to see you. I missed you. I hope you're okay. Oh, you don't want me to see you. I'm sorry. Um, okay. You don't need to um, appear there, but do you have a microphone, Helena? If not, maybe Hassan does. I gave you the lead so you could... Um, okay, we're looking for two, three challenges. Um, and challenges and two benefits and then two uh, resources on the internet that give you information on pair teaching. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go on to... Three. How are you doing in room three? Are there any questions? Waji, what happened? I see you're not in a room anymore. Or you are in a room. Okay, I see you're in the room. All right, I gave you uh, editing rights. I'm going to give everybody editing rights too. Okay, so you're okay. Two challenges and two benefits and two resources. Two challenges. It's all two two benef benefits of my of uh, pair teaching bene, bene, benefits and two resources that you find or references that you find online besides the one that I gave you all right so you're good to go uh, room number two how are you doing in room number two let me give you uh, writing tools for room number two and I'll give one of you, um, Nevis, I'll give you, um, I'll make you the lead so you can also use voice. All right, so you've got uh, there. I gave it back to you. And what happened? Okay, there we go. Okay, so you're okay? Good. All right, I'm going to go on to the next one. This is uh, room number one. I hope in room number one, let me give you a uh, writing tool so you can use the whiteboard, Brian and English. And I think you know what you're doing. Two challenges, two oh. benefits, and two resources from the internet. All right. Good luck. Oh, you can have the mic. Yes, of course. Let me make you the lead. Yes, Brian. Thank you for reminding me. All right. Great. Okay. Room number six. Let me give you 
writing tools. Okay, you have writing tools. Very good, Maria. You gave uh, Tosif. Okay, so you're good to go. I'm just checking. Um, let's see, Elena. Let me give you writing tools, Giselle, so you could write on the whiteboard. Okay, there you've got it. And I'm off to room four. Helena, let's see if you guys have writing tools. Okay, Hassan, I gave you writing tools so you could use the whiteboard. Okay. And Helena, you also have the mic if you wish to use it. And I'm off to room three. Room three, let me make sure that you have tools. Oh, you do. Okay. Uh, would one of you like to be the lead? Mark, would you like to be the lead? I'll make you the lead. Okay, there we go. All right, so you've got a couple more minutes, and I see we have a new guest. Hello, Samantha. I see you came in a bit late. We're working in teams, so actually you don't really see anybody. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add you to one of the... Uh, uh, groups here. There are six groups of pairs because we're practicing pair. Can you hear me by the way? Samantha, just let me know in the chat box if you can hear me. Give me a smiley or something. Okay, great. So what we're doing, everybody's paired off and um, because you came in late, you don't have a pair, but I'd like to put you somewhere. What they're looking for is two challenges, two benefits of uh, pair teaching. So if you could do that now, go into the internet benefits and find two benefits and two challenges in pair teaching. Okay, you can and then add it to the chat box. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'll give you the whiteboard so you can use the whiteboard to write on. Okay, is that okay? Um, so, so you can write this on the whiteboard and not in the chat. Okay, so let me give you writing tools. You're the only one that will have writing tools in the main, okay, there we go, in the main whiteboard. So you have a whole whiteboard and you can add, do you know how to write on the whiteboard? Uh, there's an A there. If you notice, there's a little A. Uh, it's one, two, three, fourth from the left. There are icons there. You click on it, and then you'll be able to write the information there. So you're writing two challenges, two benefits, and uh, two resources, links from the internet, giving you the information. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I'm going to write here. Any questions? Okay, Brian, I see something happened there. I gave you, um, did you crash or something? I see. I gave you writing tools so you can write on the chat in the um, whiteboard in your room. I hope everything's okay there. Uh, the mic's not working. That's interesting. I see, yeah, I see that you've got funny signs on your click to transfer video. Hmm. I wonder what's yeah. going on there. It, yeah, there's something strange there on your... You'll see it when you see the recording. You'll see that there's something strange on your. Uh, you sure you have a mic there? All right, so just use the whiteboard for now. Oh, your mic is not working, but it should be working uh, in Wiz IQ if your mic is working too. So next time. Okay, let's see, Susan. 
Okay, any questions? Okay, I'm not talking here. I'm just going through these to see if there are any questions. Notice I can go into each of these uh, team and see how they're doing. Okay, these are all the uh, the rooms I see. See, I see room five. Room five means that there may be a problem there. So let me see. Um, yeah, okay. Notice here that room five um, oh, Samantha. Okay, let's see room five. Yeah, I see the mics aren't working here, which is interesting. Okay, we've got a couple more minutes. What happened, Samantha? I, you, what happened to all the information that you had there? It seems to be gone. So you had so much wonderful things on the whiteboard. Did you delete them? Did I delete them by mistake? There are links to use. Yes, you were right. Uh, first of all, two or three challenges. You were doing so well, and it's all right. Two or three challenges, Samantha, and then two or three benefits of pair teaching. Benefits, okay? And then two or three resources from the internet uh, about the benefits and challenges. Oh, you didn't erase? I don't see it there, though. I only see found it. Didn't you have more information before? Oh, it moved, maybe. I thought you had more information there. And now I, don't, I only see found it. Oh, you didn't? But is that all you had, just found it? Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh, you mean you found the, uh, the A. Okay, I thought... Maybe I saw somebody else's. Oh, I see Sean is here. All right, so I'm going to pair you. Sean, uh, let's see, Sean is back. So Sean, I'm going to uh, let you work together with Samantha. Okay, I'm going to create another room, room number seven, and put you in that room. Okay, so that you're going to room number seven and you can work there together. Samantha knows what to do. She'll tell you. All right, so now everybody's in a room by themselves, and I'm going to go to room seven. In room seven, now you're together, uh, Sean and Samantha. I'm going to give you um, writing tools so you can use the whiteboard in your room. And um, Sean, the idea is to find two challenges and two benefits of pair teaching, and then find two resources on the internet to um, that show these benefits and challenges. Sean, for some reason, I can't give you the writing tool. Oh, yeah. I don't understand why. But uh, let me try to... So you should be able to get the white the uh, whiteboard and be able to write on it very soon. It's still going around in circles there. Okay, so everybody's by themselves. All right, so I can go back to this. Notice this is the um, breakout room. They're in the process. And what we're doing now is um, okay they're there trying to find the challenges involved let me just show you what we're doing they were paired in the breakout rooms they have to find two or three challenges that they foresee in pair teaching and then list two or three benefits of pair teaching 
and they have to find two resources that show the benefits involved in uh, pair teaching. I also asked for two or three tips to manage the challenges, but I think that's quite enough. Once they finish that um, in the live class, they're going to create a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> together, documenting their findings. So they're going to work on Google Drive. I'm just hoping that everybody's able to open a Google Drive doc or some other doc they could work on a wiki. Then they're going to upload the PowerPoint presentation of their findings on WizIQ, make the PowerPoint public, share the link, because once it's public, they can share the link in the course feed of Moodle MOOC 5, which is a course that is currently taking place in October 2014. And then they're going to share the link also in the course feed of Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology, which is another course. Once they finish that, and the question is when, they're going to do it, and they're going to get this now, <laughs> which is what um, they're doing right now. Okay, so let me go back here because I'm going to give them the instructions uh, when I bring them back and then I'm going to take them away. Okay, I'm going to give them a couple more minutes here. I'm going to go into the rooms and ask them how they are to make sure that everybody's doing okay um, and tell them that they have two more minutes. How are you doing guys? You've got two more minutes. I hope um, that should get you. Um, English Bull, do you have... Um, I can give you voice as well. Okay, I can give both of you voice actually. But now it's making a lot of noise, isn't it? No, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> you need to have a headset. All right, so you've got two more minutes, okay? And then we're going to continue working together. So... You'll need more time for the other part of this. Okay, room number two. You've got two more minutes. Two. And then and then it continues. Okay, so you need there's more work. <laughs> All right. I can touch you. I can actually <laughs> there you are. Okay, so two more minutes, guys. Okay, you've got I just want to tell you that you've got two more minutes. Um Okay, Waji and Mark, and then we're going to continue to the next stage, so you'll need the time, okay? Two more minutes. Okay, um, Helena and Hassan, you've got two more minutes, so uh, we're going to go into the next part of this exercise, which is also uh, collaborative, so I hope you're managing a lot and learning from one another. Uh, group number five. Okay, two more minutes to go. Okay, so get the information together because there's more. <laughs> okay, there's a second part. Oh, I love the whiteboard. You did a wonderful... Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, great. Two more minutes. Okay, Maria... Hello, and to see if you've got your whiteboard looks amazing. You've got two more minutes, and then we're going to go on to the next stage. So you're doing wonderful. Great. Okay. Uh, Sean and Samantha, you started a bit late, but I hope you're managing uh, to get the information together. You're supposed to write on the whiteboard. So you both have writing tools. Just go to the whiteboard and write two challenges and two benefits of pair teaching, teaching in a, as a pair together. Or you're looking for resources. You may want to start just brainstorming. Otherwise, it'll take time. And you'll have more time afterwards. So there's more to come. Okay, so as I said, uh, two more minutes, and then we're going to go into the next stage which is a bit time consuming, uh, is they're going to have to actually produce something besides just, but I'm gonna go into each of the rooms so I can get shots, because I think that they're doing amazing things. Okay, take a look at that. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's room number one. Room two. Okay, I'm just sneaking through here. 
room number three. Notice how much work they've done. Amazing. Uh, room number four. Okay. Wow. Mate, that's wonderful. They got it up there. Excellent. Wow. Very good thinking. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Very picturesque. And then we've got number six. Nice. And even room number seven has started. Nice work. All right, I'm going to take them out of their rooms. Now this is, this is how it's done. I'm gonna click on end break session. Okay. Hello everybody. I have just taken you out. <laughs> just shows you how much control a teacher has online. I have taken you out for a moment. Okay, just for a moment. Uh, so that we can talk about the next stage. Okay, so uh, just give me a um, thumbs up, thumbs down, faces. How did it feel to be in pairs to work like this so far? Okay, you can grab a smiley there and or whatever face you'd like to make. Um, slightly to, repeat. To capture how you feel. Okay, the next stage. Oops. Okay. The next. Did I just leave the car? Okay, there we are. The next stage is the following. Okay, you're going to go back into your groups, but before you do, this is the second, Susan, this is the second part of the pair work exercise. Okay, first is, and listen carefully, create a PowerPoint presentation. Now, you may need to write this down somewhere. So you create a PowerPoint presentation documenting your findings. Okay, so whatever you found out, you're going to document it in a few slides. You're going to work on Google Drive or some other place that you find where you can collaborate uh, on this PowerPoint presentation. And then you're going to upload the PowerPoint presentation to WizIQ. You're going to make it public. You're going to share the link in the course feed of Moodle Moodle 5 and learn to blend and flip with technology. Now, if that sounds like a lot, it's not. It's not at all. You just create a PowerPoint presentation of your findings. You make it on the cloud so you can share the link okay that's how it's done all right so i'm going to throw you back in the rooms as they say so you can continue working so who do we have here brian and english what room were you in i'll put you in room one me oh wait a minute i can't put you i have to put you in the same room <laughs> what room were you in sorry well we'll put you in another room okay room one all right um, Nevis and Susan, you were in room two. Uh, Waji and Mark, you were in room three. Giselle, no, somebody left. And Elena, yes, you were in room four. Okay. Uh, Maria and Tusif, you were in room five. And Samantha, did I miss up here? Oh, Hassan, what happened? Helena, Helena's not here. Uh, Hassan uh, and Helena, I don't see Helena, but Hassan, you were in room, uh, let's see, room, you were in room six, were you? Okay, I'll put you in room six, but I don't see Helena. Room four, all right, let's see, room four, oh, I think I messed up here. Oh, Hassan, you're in room four. Okay, so I'll move you to room four. And, um, and room four has Giselle and Elena. Were you in room five? So what room were you in? Uh, room six. No, I know. Maria, I know. 
I think you are in room six, are you not? So Marie, somebody, somebody left the room here and let's see. Ah, somebody would need a partner. That's why. Okay, so let's go back to the main room and see who's missing here. So room four, uh, Hassan, Elena, you were in room uh, five, I presume. Giselle, in room five. Okay. No, room five. And room four should be Hassan. Let's see. Oh, I made a mess. So, uh, Maria, you're in room six. Uh, Giselle, you must be in room five. Right? But there is no room five. Something happened here. Room five disappeared. Okay. So, Elena, you were. So, who was with you? Um, to see if you must be in room six. Okay, so let's see if I messed up here. So, Elena, room six is fine. Room to see if is with. Okay, so to see if is in the right place with you, Maria. No problem. Elena, well, let me start the breakout and then we'll figure out who's in the wrong place. Okay, so the breakout has started. Elena, you are in room five, but room five disappeared. I wonder why. Helena, you're back. Okay, Helena, you're in room four with Hassan. Okay, you're there. And then room four. Why is Helena's here, but where is Hassan? Wait, Hassan. Hassan is not here. Uh, so let's see. Hassan must be here. Hassan, let me put you in the right place in room four with Helena there. Sorry about that. Uh, as Susan did with her eyes, I'm doing it with mine. Okay, so Elena, room five disappeared. So let me make another room. I don't know why it disappeared. Oh, here it is. Here's room. Room five has Elena and Giselle, so everything is fine. Yeah, okay. So everything is good. Great. All right. So everything is good. Hmm. Okay, is everything clear here? Okay, so what you need... Oh, you need the tools. Yes, of course, of course. There are the tools. Sorry about that. Yes, you need the tools. Okay, there are the tools. If you need voice, uh, let me know. Okay, tools. Sorry about that. How come there's only one person here? Oh, here we go. Mark, there are the tools. And, um, let's see, tools. It's a lot of work for the teacher, getting everything here. But it's really reward. Oh, how come Hassan is there? But where's Helena? I don't see Helena. Helena? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know where Helena is. I hope she's feeling okay. Helena? Oh, there. Helena's back, I think. Okay. All right. So Helena's there, and she's got the tools, too. Okay. And uh, you guys need tools. Okay. There, Elena and Giselle. Okay. You've got the tools now. And uh, you need tools here, Maria and Tasif. Tasif. And uh, I'll give Maria. Tasif, do you also want the webcam? And do you want it too? Tasif. Yes, you said okay. Great. All right. So there we go. If you echo, you have to use a headset or you have to mute when the other one's speaking. Okay, so I'll let you figure that out. And uh, let's see if everybody else is okay here. Okay, let me give you, oops, tools. There we go. You've got tools now, too. Now you have. Okay, let me make sure everybody else has too. Okay, I'm going to extend the class, but you've got about 10 minutes. If you need more, let me know. Okay, Brian and...
Okay, if you need more time, let me know. I'm extending it by 10 minutes. Okay, let me know if you need more time. You may need to get your information together so you can continue afterwards. Okay, that's how it's done. That's the breakout room, and that's uh, working in pairs, which is quite different from working alone. Okay, let's see. Um, get a sneak peek here. There you can see the rooms, the way they're set up. Oops. Okay, you can see the rooms are set up here. Let me get rid of my, uh, in case it's making this a bit slow, I'll get rid of my webcam. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to give them a couple of minutes here. But while I'm doing that, uh, let's see how they're doing. We'll just get a sneak peek into the rooms without talking. Wow, it looks like you lost the information. I'm sorry. Nice job. You're doing well. Very good. Um, would you like the microphone here? Um, Samantha and Brian? Not Brian, sorry. Samantha and Sean? Samantha, do you have writing tools? Because I see it going round and round, and I'm not sure whether you have it or not. Okay, let's hope you do here. Let's see, there's a message from Susan. Let's see. There's a message from Susan. So let me go to Susan and see what's going on. Susan, I heard there's a message here. Okay, room number two. Susan, uh, is there a question? I see that you asked a question. Yeah, that's an interesting point there about audio. Um, would you like me to give you the mic? Do you, do you, would you like the mic? Yes, okay. Oh, I took it away and I never gave it back to you. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. Okay, sorry about that. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, there's my video. Let's pop it back back in there. Can I pop in? There we go. And we'll give them a little more time. I could stop the time. And, and then come back. But I think it's a good idea to view them. So let's go in there. Would you like the um, the mic here, um, Brian? English or oh, Brian, you don't have uh, tools. I'm sorry. Um, oh, you've got a noisy mic. I think you need to get a headset there. Um, English and Brian, I'm trying to give you. I couldn't give you mic, but maybe. A webcam. All right. I don't want to bother you. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna go into room two here. The question so about the video scene, where you see me. I think there's a question. Um, is there a question? Not here. Maria, is there a question? Or was it from before? I think I've got a um, ma microphone. Yeah. Hello again. I can give it to both of you. I can give it to both of you if um, if Tosif has a headset. <laughs> Wonderful! You look lovely. How nice to see both of you. Hi, Tosif. <laughs> Good. Okay. All right. I, I think pair teaching is wonderful. I think working in pairs is wonderful because there's so much that you can teach one another. And nobody wants to learn alone. I see that someone dropped off. We only have 17. I mean, 13. Does that make it 12? Hmm. We've got seven. That means somebody's not here. Oh, I see. Room number seven only has one person. Okay, so let's go there and see what's going on. Um, number seven. So who, what happened? Sean, I guess Samantha uh, was kicked out or something happened. Oh, she, uh, I don't know what happened. She's not here, Sean. So um, maybe she lost her internet connection or something. I'm sorry. Um So you can continue working on the whiteboard though, and uh, hopefully she'll be back. Do you have a microphone, uh, Sean, that you know works? Thank you. Thank you. Have you tried it? I came in late, so I'm a bit, oh, you're a bit lost, yes. Um, let me share the link to the PowerPoint presentation so you'll get an idea. Okay, I'll put it in the chat box. Um, for you so you can uh, get the instructions and understand what's going on. Okay, so here it is. I'm adding it. Sorry, sorry about that. I thought Samantha had explained, but I think she's having some technical issues. Okay, so there's, um, you can open that up and follow that and you'll get an idea of what's going on. It's actually practice in pairs. That was the point in order to get ready for the um, pair teaching that's going to happen in November. Okay, so we've got about six more minutes to go. Let's see how much they managed to do. And if they, let me just tell them they should, um, the work will continue after the class. Hello. One of the things with breakout rooms is that, first of all, everybody has to have a pretty good connection, and then they have to commit to stay with the group until the end of the session. Now this could be problematic. Please go above the video screen where you see me. And also for other reasons, in other words, uh, they may have to go after 15 minutes or and so on. So having to commit is not always possible. So I think I've got a um, ma microphone, yeah. Who had problems. Oh, again. But I, I just... Okay, so okay. I'd like to um, let them know that they need to take each other's information in order to... Yes, yes, yes. I can see to see it now. Okay, um, guys, you'll have to 
<laughs> get each other's information. Yeah, and to see you again. Okay. So, okay. Your so nobody else. Uh, what else you have to write on the slides? Okay, so uh, try to share your email so you can complete the task uh, when the session ends. Okay. Couple, we do the, um, the sorry. It'll be fun. Yeah, we've got a couple more Thank minutes. You, oh, wonderful. You've got everything. Oh, my gosh. Wow, you're amazing. All right, if you could get that information, screen share it, get a screenshot or something, get it onto your PowerPoint, uh, share each other's emails so you can continue working on this after because the session is going to end in okay. a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, if you Hi, the session is going to end, Waji, and um, who else is here? And Mark, could you take each other's emails so you can continue working on the PowerPoint after and get it ready for the next micro teaching session? Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, uh, room four with Hassan and Helena. Hi, could you get each other's email so you can continue working on this before the next micro teaching class? Because in the next micro teaching class, you're actually going to be presenting this. Okay, the next micro teaching class is in a couple of days. Okay, so get each other's emails so you can continue working. I'm sorry to hear about your concentration, uh, Helena. To remind you the time is almost up if you could get each other's emails so you can continue with a powerpoint presentation you'll be presenting it in a couple of days when we have the next micro teaching class okay so get each other's emails nobody will see it it's completely private okay and it'll disappear this is not recorded on WizIQ. iq right, team six Time is almost up. If you could get each other's emails, ladies, get each other's emails so we can continue working. You're going to have this ready before the next micro teaching class, which is in a couple of days. So uh, you'll have to work on this afterwards, okay? Uh, Sean, you're going to have to do this on your own. Uh, the session's going to end. I hope you can get a pair, someone to work with you. That would be great. Um, maybe you can find someone in the um, in the MOOC. So let me extend the class before we get thrown out. Everyone, get all the screenshots that you need, okay, before the session ends. So get the screenshots so you don't lose the work. Uh, I suggest you get a screenshot, ladies, of what you have uh, before I close the, uh, I end the breakout session. So get a screenshot. Oh, you're all set. Okay, you're, you're pros. Wow, great. If you guys could get a screenshot, oh, you don't have anything, so you don't need a screenshot, okay? Uh, maybe you deleted it, I'm not sure, okay? So we can continue and um, get a screenshot of your work so you don't lose it, and you can continue, okay? So get a screenshot. Uh, team six if you could get a screenshot as I said because we're ending the session are you ready for the end okay we're gonna end the session now all right so everybody's back okay you're all back you should be back uh, I'm back too there I everybody's back and that was how like we do the um, presentation. It'll be fun. Was in we done, work, Dr. Nelly. Uh, in preparation uh, for pair moment. teaching. Now you're going to be pair teaching using your PowerPoint presentation um, in the next micro teaching session, which is in a couple of days. I hope you have everybody's emails because okay. you need them. Okay, so 
the rooms were private. WizIQ does not record the rooms, the breakout rooms, so you're there privately. You can share anything. So um, you, we finished the presentation, but there we should share. Exactly, you need to upload it to WizIQ and get the link and so on, and then share it um, in the next session. Chat copied. Okay, very, very good. You did a wonderful job. I mean, you deserve to give each other stars because you were amazing. And uh, how many people were there? 14. So actually, you deserve uh, 14 stars. There were seven teams, seven groups. So you did a marvelous job. All right, so this is just the beginning. The next micro teaching session uh, is going to be in a couple of days, as I said. The next one, number three, is going to be uh, on October 24. Okay, October 24 is the next one at 10 a.m. EST. Uh, tomorrow we have a remote, oh, this is amazing. You have to come to this session. It's remote proctoring. It's testing through video uh, in real time, online in Moodle. So uh, it's something amazing that was done by University. And it's a wonderful I know it's free, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's a great way to be able to test and see the people as they're being tested. So that's tomorrow. The link for tomorrow's okay. session is um, is right here. Okay, let me get the link for tomorrow. It's also in the course schedule on with IQ. So thank you. I've, oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> sorry, Brian. Sorry to hear that. Uh, all right, so we'll see you at the micro teaching. No, the micro teaching is the next one is on October 24. Okay, which is, um, I believe, the end of the week. Friday? Is it Friday? Yeah, sorry to hear that. Um, all right, take care. All right, take care. Tips. Yeah. We share condolences, Brian. Yes, I'm really sorry. Um, Billy will be here it's too. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Great. Dave. Invite your friends, uh, family. I mean, you know, why not invite your family? And, um, and we'll see you. All right. So thank you. You're wonderful. Thank you so much, everyone. I really learned so much today and I hope you did too. So thank you for the experience. I couldn't have done it without you. Literally, you cannot do a group session without people. Okay. So this only works uh, with wonderful people like yourselves. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. It was really exciting, very uh, heartwarming okay. for me. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I want to, I really do thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are, it's you, it's you, you have no idea that it's you. Um, you know, I'm just, I just happen to be watching this wonderful event. You were fabulous. All right. This has been recorded, so you'll get it from my end. I'll add the uh, YouTube video so you'll see what uh, I saw. Okay, you'll see it all. All right, in a couple of hours. Bye for now.